Envelope budgeting in iBank will help you keep a better eye on your spending to reduce your debt and start saving more. Envelope budgeting is a practice in which you consider your current income as cash to be used for future expenditures. You'll assign a responsibility to each portion of that cash by putting it into envelopes earmarked for particular expenses, such as rent or mortgage, utilities, groceries, etc. The advantage of this approach is that you can see at a glance whether you have enough money to pay the bills. If there's extra cash at the end of the month, you can easily move it to another envelope or save it towards a future expense. The key to using envelope budgeting in iBank is to set up categories that correspond to each of the expense envelopes you would create in real life. That way, when you record your spending activity in iBank, it will be easy to make sure all of your transactions are categorized appropriately. You can manage your categories at any time by selecting Categories from the Manage item on the source list. If you're setting up a new budget, click the plus button on the top left and choose Add Budget. The Budget Setup Assistant will appear. Use the available options to plan out your scheduled income and expenses and to set targets for unscheduled earning and spending. Each category you include in your budget will be assigned an envelope later on. For an in-depth video on setting up a budget, watch the Creating a New Budget video at the IGG Software website. If you have a budget set up already and want to enable envelopes for it, click the Gear Action button above the Budget Report and choose Edit Budget. You can go back through the income and expenses settings and change anything if needed. At the end of the Budget Assistant, you'll see the option to enable envelope budgeting. Click Set Up Envelopes, then enter the amount of cash you currently have set aside for each category. If you're just getting started with envelope budgeting, your envelopes will most likely start at zero, and you can fill them the next time you get paid. If you've been using envelopes in real life to manage your money, Enter the amount of cash in each of your real-life envelopes as the starting cash for each of iBank's envelopes. Click Done to complete the budget setup. On the budget report, you'll now see a column labeled Envelope. This column shows how much cash is currently saved in each of your income and expense envelopes. It also shows an icon indicating whether or not the envelope has any cash in it. When you record a deposit in an account register and assign it to one of your income categories, cash is added to the appropriate envelope automatically. Likewise, if you record spending activity and assign expense categories to the transactions, cash is automatically deducted from the corresponding envelopes. Each time you get paid, it's important to remember to move cash from your income envelopes to your expense envelopes. There are three ways to do this. First, you can simply drag from an envelope with cash in it to any other envelope. When you release the mouse button, a pop-up bubble will appear to ask how much cash you want to move. Enter the desired amount and click Save to record the transfer. Be aware that if you're viewing a budget period in the past, the transfer will be recorded on the last day of that period. Second, you can move cash between two envelopes by clicking the Action button above the budget report and choosing Move Cash Between Envelopes. A sheet will appear to let you specify which envelopes to move cash to and from and how much cash you want to move. Click OK to record the transfer. As mentioned before, if you're viewing a budget period in the past, the transfer will be recorded on the last day of the period. Finally, if you want to allocate cash to several envelopes at once, click the Action button above the budget report and choose Fill Envelopes. In the sheet that appears, the cash from all of your income envelopes is combined to show you how much is available to distribute. Each of your expense envelopes is listed below. You can type in how much cash should be distributed to each envelope, or you can click Distribute Cash to Envelopes to let iBank fill in the values automatically. If there's enough cash to go around, iBank will automatically add to each envelope the amount budgeted for this month's expenses. If there is not enough cash to fill all of your envelopes, iBank will work its way down the list until it runs out of cash. You can drag and drop categories in the list to prioritize them however you'd like. And you can always adjust the amounts after iBank fills them in. If there's cash left over after all envelopes have been refilled, you can manually allocate it as you see fit, or you can leave it in your income envelopes to be distributed later. After you're done allocating cash, click Done to record the transfers. When you use the Fill Envelopes command, the transfers are always recorded with today's date, regardless of what budget period you're viewing. To view historical activity in an envelope, 
Navigate to the budget period you want to view, then click on the category for the envelope you want to see. A detailed cash flow report will appear to show all income, expenses, transfers, and adjustments that were recorded in the envelope during the period in question. Use the arrow buttons above the report to navigate back and forth as you drill down into the report details. Throughout the budget period, if you want to make additional expenditures, you can look in each envelope to see how much cash remains, then decide how you want to spend it. If you're considering a purchase and find that the corresponding envelope has already been emptied, you have three options. One, don't make the purchase. Two, wait until you're able to save more money in that envelope. Or three, take cash from another envelope to cover the expense. At the end of the budget period, any cash that remains in your envelopes rolls over to the next period. In this manner, you can save up cash over time for particular needs. For more information on this topic, search the iBank Help menu for Budgets.